Ever wonder why Sukuna is called the king of curses? Today I'm drawing his intense scary face with that famous tongue out look. Stick around to see how the sketch turns out. Alright, let's start with the outline of Sukuna's face. I'm sketching the shape of his head and nose, giving him that strong jawline. His face has sharp, angled features which help show his intense look. Now I'm moving to his hairs. Sukuna's hair is short and spiky, adding to his wild, powerful vibe. Next up, I'll add his ears. I'm keeping them simple but sharp, right in line with his jaw. Now I'm moving down to the neck. I'm adding some defined lines here to show his strength. Then onto the collar of his uniform, Sukuna wears the iconic Jujutsu Kaisen uniform. So I'm sketching the high collar, making sure it sits around his neck. With these basic done, Sukuna's shape is really coming together. Now, I'm outlining Sukuna's mouth. It's open wide with his tongue out. I'm making sure to get the shape of his lips and the long tongue just right. Let me tell you a joke like why does Sukuna always carry a pencil? Mm, because he likes to draw his enemies closer. I know it was lame. Anyways, let's keep going with the drawing. Now let's move on to Sukuna's eyes. I'm drawing his eyes closed which gives him a calm yet powerful look. The shape is important. Make sure to get that slight curve to show his expressions. Now I'm adding his eyebrows. They are sharp and angled. Now I'll draw the small eyeball below. This one gives Sukuna an extra edge and makes his face more unique. Finally, I'm adding those famous black lines on his face. These markings are important because they show that he is a powerful curse. I'll make them bold and sharp starting from the his eyes and going down his cheeks. These details really make Sukuna look intimidating. With these features in place, he's starting to come alive on the page. I'm focusing on his famous line on Sukuna's forehead. These markings are really important because they make him stand out as the king of courses. Next, I'm outlining his hair. Sukuna's hair is short and spiky, so I'm adding lots of sharp angles to show that wild style. I'll make sure the outline is bold to give his hair that strong presence. As I draw, I'm thinking about how the hair frames his face and add to his intimidating look. It's all about capturing that wild energy that Sukuna has. With the lines on his forehead and the hair outline done, we are getting closer to bringing Sukuna to life. Want to see more awesome art? Then don't forget to check out my drawing of Goku in the i button above. You're gonna love it. So till now, if you're watching this particular video, I think so that you are liking it. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'm putting a lot of effort in making these videos and uploading it on YouTube. So... I'm a beginner and it is a quite difficult for me then to I'm trying to give my best. So here's the fully outlined look of Sukuna. You can see all the details. Now let's start coloring Sukuna's face. I'm using a light skin tone as the base. It's important to get an even coat to create a smooth look. I'll be carefully filling in around the eyes and mouth making sure to stay within the lines. This will help define his features below, adding shadows. With the base color done, you'll be ready to add some depth and shadows. Now I'm adding shadows to Sukuna's neck. I'm using a slightly darker shade to create depth and make it look more three-dimensional. Shadows help highlight his strong features. Next, I'll add shadows around his eyes. This will make them stand out and give them that intense look. I'm focusing on the corners and the area below to enhance the depth. Now let's move on to his ears. I'll add some shadow behind them to show the shape and create more dimension. Next, I'm shading the jawline. The darker shade here will emphasize his strong features. Lastly, I'm adding shadow to his nose. I'll focus on the sides and the under the tip to give it some depth. 
These shadows really help bring Suguna's face to life. Now I'm adding some sparkling blood to Suguna's face. I'm using a bright red color to make it really stand out. I'll start with small drop near his mouth and cheeks. The key is to create a realistic splattered effect so I'll use quick short strokes to give it that messy look. Next, I'm adding some blood on his chin. This makes it look like he's just came from battle, which fits perfectly with his character. It shows his wild side. I'll also add a little shimmer to the blood to give it a wet look. This detail really makes it pop and adds intensity to the drawing. With the blood added, Sukuna's appearance is now completed. Oh, wait a minute. Let me add some blood to the Sukuna's neck as well. I'm using the same bright red color to create a dripping effect that matches the rest of his face. If you like it, then give it a thumbs up. And now I'm focusing on coloring Sukuna's hair, which is of color pink, a lighter shade of pink. I hope you're liking my video till now, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Oh no, what happens to my eyes? It was nice. Um, it's just voice changer, okay? Don't mind. It's just for fun. Now I'm coloring his Jujutsu color, which is of color red. I have used a darker shade of red here and I have left spaces for the buttons as well. Now I am coloring his particular tongue, which is of red. Here I had used alcoholic marker. It is a cheaper one, okay? Now I'm going to outline Sukuna's whole face. This step is important because it helps define all the features we have drawn so far. Strong outline brings everything together. So, now enjoy the music! So, if you're watching it till now, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's a warning, okay? Don't forget to subscribe my channel, okay? Here I'm outlining his particular face and after this thing is done, I am giving an outline to his jawline, his ears and giving a depth to his ears as well. But before that, I am giving depth to his jaw. Um, okay. Now I am outlining his neck and yeah, that's a neck only, okay? 
So now let's add some depth to Sukuna's collar. This will make it look more three-dimensional and give it that strong defined appearance. I'll start by selecting a darker shade to create shadows. I'm focusing on the areas where the collar folds and overlaps. These shadows will give it a more realistic look, making it seem like it's really wrapping around his neck. I'll use gentle strokes to blend the darker shade into the base color. This will help create a smooth transition and add depth without being too harsh. It's important to think about where the light is coming from. I'll keep the top of the collar and give it a nice shadow. And on the sides, this will help really make it pop up. As I add more layers of shading, I'll keep adjusting until it looks just right. The extra details really enhances the overall look of Sukuna's uniform. I'll also add a few highlights in the collar to show where the light hits. This gives it a nice shine and makes the collar look more dynamic. With the collar shaded and looking great, we are making fantastic progress on this drawing. Okay, so now listen to the song. because it adds definition and sharpness to his wild look. I'll use a darker shade to really make the hair stand out against his face. I'm focusing on those spiky shapes, okay? And here's the final look of Sukuna. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this drawing. If you like it, please comment, share and do subscribe. Thanks for watching.